There's sometimes I come here to the canyons and what I call, I call it re rebuilding my medicine because there's sometimes out of the day or I might have to go sing somewhere to where I don't feel as strong as I should be, you know, and I, I'll come back here. Sometimes I'll come with my kids and my whole family or sometimes I'll come by myself and I'll just sit and I'll just sing and, and, I, and I'll listen to the river and I'll, and I'll just sing the songs and, and just relax and, and come back one with my heart. Yeah, my name is Peter Arviso Jr. and I am an Agua Caliente tribal member. The story behind the songs is, um, it was our journey after our creator had passed. Uh, we started this journey throughout Southern California to find our homeland. And that's what the songs talk about. It talks about weather, the terrain, and the things we saw on our journey. The bird singing groups today are um, Torres Martinez, Morongo, uh, Mount Cuya, Agua Caliente, uh, let's see, Serrano, they also sing birds. Um, and us, the Pinecton Bird Singers, we're, we're, we're like one of the newest groups that have come on the scene. As far as um, California Indians and Midwest Indians or Plains Indians, we, we beat to the rattle um, for our songs and they beat to the drum. The rattle is basically a gourd that's cleaned out and you shave down a cottonwood stick and you put inside, you put your, your palm tree seeds. My, my seeds are from this canyon. I came and picked the seeds and cleaned my gourd out and threw them. Everybody makes their own and some people paint them and some people leave them flat. Your preference. My name is Eli Andreas. I'm from the Cuya Nation. My reservation is Agua Caliente Band and Cuya Indians. Uh, my village is Pinectum, which means the early morning people, and my clan is Tuca, which is the Bobcat clan. The ribbon shirts are a modern way of dressing today. When the Spanish came into California and uh, other states, we adopted their dressing styles. Traditionally, we only had a few colors, and I know red was one of our sacred colors for all native people. That would be one of the reasons why we wear red. Our group does match up. We do need to make different style shirts. So me and my brother, we've made different shirts. The rest of the group just needs to catch up, but that's on them <laughs> when they got time. My name is Isaiah Duke Andres Galvan, and I'm from Agua Caliente. I started bird singing when I was little. I was two years old, my mom threw me out there, and I was just, I would play the gourd. This is what our people have done for, you know, thousands of years. You know, my grandfather has done, and his father, and his grandfather. It's always been, like, a thing for me to do. I've always had it, you know. We'll have all the singers next to each other so that we could just be singing. You know, and then if the, sometimes the singer will want to dance, or, you know, the lead will want to dance, so we got to learn songs for him to dance. But it's pretty much like set up like if you want to dance, you, you know, kind of stand outside, or you can sit, stand out in front. And then uh, if you want to sing, you just sit there and you got to make sure to follow properly and, and uh, be, have a strong voice like that. Yeah, when I start singing and I, I'm getting ready to dance, it, I just go back to when I was like five years old. And I hear all the other singers that were singing back then. I see all the other dancers that were dancing back then and, and how fun it was. My name is David Johnson Stanley. I'm from the Agua Caliente Band of Kuwait Indians. It's very important for other cultures to learn about our culture, especially if they're from here or California and uh, nationwide. Specifically speaking, it's because in the 1800s to early 1900s, it was taken away from us. Uh, kids were taken from their reservations and sent to schools. They were encouraged not to use their language. They were encouraged not to use, know their culture, where they came from. And uh, for other people to recognize us, to understand that we are, without a doubt, our own identity. And uh, it makes it so they can respect us the way we respect other cultures. And uh, if they do not understand us, do not know us, then what are, they can take so much away from us without even knowing it, and degrade who we are as individuals and as a whole culture. Because with ignorance, there's a lot of ill will. It's important that we share our culture with other people because if we don't, then all is lost. Our identity of who we are, what we're passing on, is going to be lost. It's not for show, but it is to share. The importance of the bird songs today is just to, to preserve it and keep it going and, and let everybody hear the song.
Just having your heart open, your mind open, and accept the songs for, you know, for what they are. And if, if you can listen to the songs that way, you'll feel it. You'll feel the medicine that's in the songs.